what is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel so today we're actually going to talk about r9380s these are actually r9380x's um, and we do have our little r9380 rig here so this is a rig i'll put a link in the upper right hand corner this was a 500 dollars rig that we put together um, we actually paid a little more in a premium but a few months ago we bought both of these R9380s together for $300, so about $150 each. And uh, I have a full video on doing this little build here out of an HP motherboard, CPU and memory. We put the whole thing together for $500. Bucks. Anyways, uh, we have been mining Ethereum Classic on it, and I did pick up these two additional cards to add to that rig. I do have to swap out the motherboard. Actually have to do a few swaps here on motherboards. This motherboard here uh, is the was it the B550F? And so uh, it's a gaming motherboard. It's got a decent amount of slots on it. Two, four, six total slots plus a um, M2 slot that we have an adapter in. Unfortunately, this is one that I did a video on some time ago where when you reboot it, you actually have to type in a command because of the, the Ethernet NIC. It's a 2.5 um, gigs versus like a one gig. And long story short, Linux and Hive OS have issues with this board, so you have to type in a command every time you reboot it manually. That's why there's a keyboard there in order to take down the, um, the interface and then bring the interface back up. So tired of that already. We're going to sell and get rid of this board. We'll sell it on OfferZap or Facebook Marketplace. I do have an X570 board too that I need to do something with. Uh, in addition to that, uh, I want to build out this R9380 rig. So as I was saying, sorry about the distraction, I have these two R9380Xs. I have two more actually on the way. Uh, and these do right about, without aggressive hash rate, about 20 mega hash on Ethereum Classic. The R9380s do about uh, 18. And what I wanted to do today was go ahead and do a video. I released a video last week talking about how when I swapped my R9380s from Team Red Miner to Phoenix Miner, they doubled, if not more, in hash rate. So I want to go ahead and do a video because a lot of community members actually reached out and said, hey, do some testing just to be safe, uh, which, which I thought was really good feedback and very merited. Don't take, unfortunately, what HiveOS is presenting to you as uh, gospel. And to do some testing on the miner, and then uh, within Hive OS. So look at Hive OS, what does it give you for hash rate? Look at the miner level, what does it give you for hash rate? And then go to the pool level and see what the real time uh, hash rate is. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna test a few different miners and a few different pools to go ahead and put that to bed. Is it a bug or are we able to go ahead and 2X our hash rate by bumping the R9380 to Phoenix Miner. So let's jump over to Hive OS. Alrighty guys, welcome to my computer. Um, so what we're gonna do is the rig that we uh, we have this on, it's called Pixie, little small little rig, I thought it was appropriate. Uh, so as you guys can see, we have two, uh, these are actually power color, uh, Radeon R9 380s uh, running Hynix memory right now. We have some decent overclock settings. I've been I've been very happy with these. I've talked with a few other people in the community. They do well with these. Uh, I know these are old cards, and and that's really the focus of my channel. Um, you're not going to find a lot of 3060s, 3070s, 3080s, or never 3090s on this channel, uh, unless you're giving it to me for free. Um, they're just a little too far out of my price range, and I really do enjoy the older GPU market. And yes, I understand, you know, we were talking about ROI and then your hash rate and stuff, but but uh, the four gig cards, man, they're my bread and butter. And I really do enjoy working with them and buying them and trading them and reselling them. Um, so uh, this is kind of my disclaimer that if you are unhappy with the fact that I'm doing a video on an R9 380, I'm sorry, but... Maybe my channel's not for you, just saying. Anyways, so you guys gave me some great feedback in the last video that I released, and I thought we would test this together to determine, is the R9380 Phoenix Miner hash rate a bug or a blessing? 
So let's go ahead and take a look here. So right now we're at 18.44. So if we do 18.44 times two, that gives us our 3688, which is right up here at the top as well. Okay, so that's what we're putting down for hash rate right now. We are currently mining to the Hivon pool running Team Red Miner. So test number one, Team Red Miner, Hivon pool. 36.88, give or take, based off fluctuation, looks like we're at 36.32. So somewhere within that 36 range. Let's jump over to the Hivon pool and take a look. So right now, let's refresh the page here. We'll just put page refresh on every 60 seconds. Cool. So the real-time hash rate that it is showing is 38.52. So it's showing, you know, if we refresh Hive OS here. Okay, it's showing about, we're just going to do, what, two? We're, some estimates here. All right, so we are showing about a two mega hash difference between what Hive OS is showing on the minor level compared to what is on the pool level. Um, so that's good, you know, happy to see that. Uh, in that regard. Um, so nothing too crazy at this point, nothing that stands out. I did have these rigs off. I just went ahead and powered them on. Hence why you're seeing what you see. Uh, there have been some spikes along the way here though. Um, 54.17, which is awesome. 54.17. So some good hash rate in there. So, uh, our next step is, is that we're going to go ahead and swap here. So let's go ahead. And this is what I did in my first video. We're going to come in. We're going to change our miner here from Team Red Miner to Phoenix Miner. We're staying on Hive On Pool. Let's update and apply, and I'll check back in a moment. Okay, so we've been on Phoenix Miner for a few minutes now, um, four minutes or so, five minutes or so. I do want to give it some additional time just to see if the pool updates. But as you guys can see, our, our hash rate's gone up pretty significantly. Uh, we were at 18.44. Now we're at 43.60. So uh, 43.60 per card puts us at 87.20. This is what our previous video was on, on the fact of, man, swapping over to Phoenix Miner. Look at this hash rate. It's phenomenal. So uh, going ahead and showing this to you guys, you guys can see we're on the Hive on Pool. We're still mining Ethereum Classic, nothing different. And we do have Phoenix Miner set up. So jumping over to our Hive on pool and refreshing, uh, you can go ahead and see that our hash rate is at 38.54 still. So our hash rate actually hasn't budged much. Um, our real time hash rate, which based off of everything I, I've talked with you guys about, you know, that is what you guys need to be looking at. Uh, even with, you know, taking a look at valid shares versus invalid shares, uh, you know, a pretty good amount, uh, you know, to keep into mind. So I'm going to let this run for about 15 minutes just to make sure that everything is valid. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, check back in and see if the pool is still sitting at 38.54 or if we are hitting are 86.75. Okay, okay. So we're about 15 minutes in, eh, 14 or so by the time we get to it. Um, and right now we're reporting an 87.20 hash rate on Ethereum Classic running two R9380s uh, by Power Color. Swapping over to our pool and refreshing. We are actually down to 28.13. Uh, so not only is this an absolute bug in phoenix miner which makes me wonder on my other cards just any of these other cards uh if the hash rate is fully legitimate or not and makes me question phoenix miner tremendously but it also makes me feel like what phoenix miner or, or is phoenix miner actually hurting me more than helping me um it's so interesting how reported hash rate is upwards of 81.33 so what is reporting 81.33 versus actual hash rate so it just seems really goofy like if there's a bug within phoenix miner or if it doesn't support these older cards anymore uh definitely makes me question the legitimacy of phoenix miner let's go ahead take a look at our flight sheet and edit our flight sheet here. And uh, we're gonna try one more miner, LOL miner. Uh, so let's go ahead and apply that and check back after 15 minutes. 
Okay, so we're currently on LOL Miner right now. Um, and uh, we're looking at 18.2, 18.3 per card based off of what Hive OS is showing us. Uh, let's go ahead uh, just, just to take a look here. So this is what Hive OS is showing us. Let's see what my, the miner is showing us within Hive Shell. Uh, I know we didn't do that on some of the other ones. We're just curious now, you know, now that we're kind of throwing this up here. It's interesting. So it says that we're seeing 36.69 over here on the right hand side. Okay. But then we have, oh, it looks like it updated our hash rate down to 20.83. So I'm very confused. Oh, now it's 43. Okay. So it's like all over the place, which I understand. Um, but that's interesting. So we've kind of jumped up. I know, I know it fluctuates a lot. It goes all over the place. I understand that. Uh, let's load up Hive Shell and let's see what it's showing here. So taking a look here, it looks like uh, our 18, 18, 3 number looks pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, 1833, 18, 3, 7, so 36.70. So yeah, so what we are seeing in Hive OS versus what we're seeing, uh, granted, shell in a box there on the minor level it is showing accuracy there when we jump over to the pool uh the pool is still saying a 19.79 on the real time hash rate but our reported hash rate is kind of 36.53 which is very very close to where we are so um yeah, I know a lot of you guys had recommended, you know, taking a look at what your reported hash rate is and then looking to see, are we getting a ton of invalid shares? You know, that was the big question of, okay, so hobbyist miner, if you're running on Phoenix miner and the reported hash rate is up around 80, which is, which is what we saw if we go back, our hash rate was up around 80 for reported hash rate. A lot of questions came in from the community regarding your invalid share count is going to be like through the roof. So a lot of inconclusive data here uh, based off of what I've seen so far. The data that we're seeing when we are on Phoenix Miner doesn't seem to match up very well with real time hash rate, but neither does a lot of these other pools here. Um on your hash rate numbers, or not, I'm sorry, pools, but uh, miners, the miners versus the hash rate. Uh, I mean, the hash rate's all over the place right now for LOL miner, but we've kind of been trending down, uh, downward in that regard, you know, a big spike here. Like it's so interesting. So if you look, th this is just uh, based off of what Hive OS is seeing, but you know, we're, we're, we're sitting around that 36 mark, bam, we're up to the 87 mark. Now it's interesting. So this is some good data here for us to discuss. When we are, all, you can see the the the, the table here, saying eighty seven point two zero is what it's showing here on Hive OS. But take a look at the pool level. So on the Hive OS pool level, which is our yellow line, when we are at our highest at eighty seven point two zero, we're actually at our lowest on the pool level. Um, down at eighteen. So uh, that, that kind of gives us a little bit more information there. Uh, not, you know, uh, it seems like based off of kind of some of these tables that we see here, we are getting some spikes. So when we are on Phoenix Miner, it looks like we're pretty low. And then every once in a while, we get this table that occurred, putting us up there 43, 53-ish. But at the end of the day... I do feel that Phoenix Miner's results are not accurate. So it's 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 a shame and it's kind of frustrating to see that there's a lot of questionability within Hive OS. You know, um, you know, I guess another test that we could do in the future is do Phoenix Miner on Windows and and you know take Hive OS out of the entire equation and see do we get the same results as we expect, or is this is this isolated to a Hive OS bug? Is it not a is it a, is it a Hive OS partnered with Phoenix Miner presents us with this bug? Is this a, a strictly Phoenix Miner bug? Uh, if anyone else is out there and and is running a Windows rig uh, with R9 380s, I'd love to know 
are you seeing the same type of hash rate being reported on the minor level, but on the pool level, it is different. Other than that, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. Not as conclusive as what I wanted, but I'm not as confident, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, I'm still moving forward with my R9 380s. Uh, as I said, I have a handful coming in. Let's go ahead and jump over to the camera to wrap up some discussion. Alrighty, guys, a little dark in here, uh, as you can see, because I went ahead and killed that light. It was getting warm. Uh, right now, it's 77 in here, so it actually is doing really good. I just picked these up. And I also picked up some uh, extra ones. They come in two packs, actually. They're like, I don't even know, like 15, 20 bucks max. Uh, and these things are awesome. Uh, if you guys want a link, I'll put a link in the description down below for these. I have these in a few different places within the basement. I got four more of them. Uh, but we are gonna continue with our R9 380Xs. These suckers run us between 20 to 22 mega hash on Ethereum Classic. So in a future video, I am going to go ahead and build out an entire rig, uh, which I'm excited to do with these. I think they'll be a lot of fun uh, and going ahead and building those out. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. I appreciate you guys hanging with me during a little bit of testing to try to validate Phoenix Miner. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.